Professor Antonio Fernandez Puertas has spent his life studying the Alhambra. He's discovered that the whole of the building, from the ground plan to the wall decoration, is based around one single ratio. I think it's, everything is so perfect because it's, everything is under control of the proportion. And very, very simple. You notice that there is something magic about this building. There is something marvelous in your surroundings. It's very, very simple. Is the relation between the ground and the elevations of the buildings. It's as simple as that. The king ordered a new palace. He has a limited area to build the palace. To west, east and south, he was limited. Then he did something genius, ingenious and beautiful. The king of Granada asked his architects to harmonize each and every space within the palace according to a single set of proportions, a family of rectangles, each related to the other. If you want to get proportional rectangle, you have the same base. Take the diagonal, put it up, uh, yes. and uh, you got successive rectangle, proportional rectangle, the key to the Alhambra's design is the simple relationship between the side of a square and its diagonal. If we use the diagonal to make a rectangle, and then the diagonal from that rectangle to make another, we get a progression of rectangles. The fourth rectangle is double the size of the first, and the diagonals in this sequence are in fact the square roots of two, three, four and five. A magical sequence. And are they doing all this just with two set squares Amber. and a piece of string? Yes. That's very clever. Yes. Every part of the intricate network of spaces, all the courtyards, the hallways, the placement of every column was designed using inspired variations of this proportional system. Proportion is also in the elevation. You have the kiosk. Here you build a square and with the diagonal you swing it up. Nothing violated this incredibly elaborate system. The Alhambra is a triumph of mathematics as much as it is of aesthetics. Mathematical ingenuity is the root of its beauty. But no one talks about this. Everyone looks at the Alhambra just as an aesthetic experience. When you go to a concert and you listen to Mozart, you listen to uh, Beethoven, you listen to uh, Verdi, you don't know perhaps music, but you notice that there is something magic. Yes. It happens with that the same. You feel it. The Alhambra is so enchanting, it's all too easy to view it as a fairy tale palace, isolated from history. But that is romantic nonsense. This palace was the product of a very real, very gritty history. The Alhambra was built by a religious empire which, at the pinnacle of its power, dominated land from China to Africa. An empire which had the wealth and intellect to build such masterpieces. An empire whose history goes back to the deserts of 7th century Arabia.